When I started at UQ, my goal was, I guess, to understand computer science, the area better. As a woman, I think there is always some underlying prejudice and underrepresentation in STEM. I think one of the biggest challenges with being a minority group is that you kind of get to a point in your degree where you realize, wait, no one else really looks like me. Do I really fit in? And you start to ask yourself all these questions. When I received the scholarship, it was a really motivating factor for my work. And it gave me that confidence boost in my own abilities. Where I was starting to doubt myself and compare myself against other people. So the Liveris Academy was established through a generous donation by Andrew Liveris and his wife Paula. The Academy offers very generous scholarships to the students and he had a vision to think about the challenges that we're facing right now to train leaders for the 21st century. So the funding support has allowed me to drastically reduce my working hours which has allowed me to spend a lot more time in my studies. Part of having a practice that's been around for 130 years is an idea of renewal. And I think connecting with UQ and uh, you know its future architects is really important. You know, we like to provide the opportunity for them to excel. The contribution of Conrad Gargett to scholarships and prizes at UQ has had a massive impact on me personally. I was fortunate enough to win the Conrad Gargett um, Architectural Design Prize, which then meant that I was offered a job here at Conrad Gargett, giving me a great foothold in the industry working in a very well-established firm. I hope to get an internship, which the scholarship has helped start, and then hopefully one day get a career at Boeing. It's the dream job for me, so I hope that this that the scholarship's just one part of a potential career. So through the Rio Tinto Engineering Scholarship, I was paired up with a Rio Tinto engineer as a mentor, and one of the things I asked them was, why are you part of the program? And their response was, throughout my career, I've had a lot of people help me out and this was my opportunity to give back. And I think that's the reason they're participating in these kinds of philanthropic ventures. It's because a lot of people have helped them and now it's their turn to support other students. And I think it's a fantastic opportunity, not only for the students, but for employers to find those students who are pushing above and beyond and nurture them into really valuable employees. Receiving the scholarship has been a big milestone that sort of formed my everyday life now and I see a big future ahead. Thank you to the Bird and Verities Foundation and to all donors that support students. Just also want to say thank you to both Andrew and Paula Liveris for their generous support in being able to make their vision of this academy into something that can really help students moving forward. I want to say a big thank you to Rio Tinto and all the other donors. You make such a big difference to the lives of students. You don't realise how much of a difference it actually makes to people's lives. I hope that I can in the future inspire other students like you have done for me.